Okay, so this is my January update video. Quite a lot's changed in my map. I started making some of the static meshes that I'm going to place, such as the trees. Uh, this is one of the elm leaf meshes that I'm using. Uh, it's basically uh, the top of a tree, and as you can see, it's just planes uh, with an opacity map just to kind of give uh, the actual kind of a silhouette of the leaves. Uh, as you can see, it's all being lit evenly. Uh, what I had to do with that, I had to change the, the vertex normals on each of the planes because obviously uh, the normals face whichever way the plane's facing. So it wouldn't light evenly. So I've adjusted those so that it does uh, light evenly to give this kind of, uh, kind of tree-like effect. And obviously when that's put on top of the trunk mesh, it does sort of look like a tree. So that's one of the trees that I've made. I've also made an oak tree, same kind of principle on that. A pine tree. And also a spruce. And when these are in the level, obviously they look much better than they do in the uh, static mesh viewer itself. So how to play with that, I've also um, started trying to get the grips with speed tree and I've optimised the trees that have come out so that obviously it uses the billboards um, everything is a fairly kind of low level of detail even though it still kind of looks quite good coming out of that um, and that's also kind of just to show that I can use those tools um, but because of um, the count on them because they're affected by wind and everything like that I'm using them as kind of hero trees to kind of uh, add a bit of life to the forest and kind of bulk out what I've put in there. I've also had a look at foliage, uh, which is the same kind of technique as creating the tops of the trees. For example, here's a fern, uh, here's another fern. So it's just basically planes with alpha maps on there. And obviously the standard kind of grass as well. And these are just, just to be place randomly across the level so that it doesn't all look quite so flat or quite so uh, colourless so obviously that's what the flowers are there for just to add a bit of, bit of colour and a bit of life to the environment so I've done that uh, also what I've done is I've completely re-sculpted the terrain that the player will actually be playing on uh, so it's all kind of in scale now so there's nothing ridiculously huge uh, obviously it's still quite a big level but everything is kind of in scale with the player and with the level itself. Uh, one major thing I've been focusing on this time around is optimization because obviously I've inserted speed trees, I've inserted quite a lot of my own meshes, um, things have been affected by wind, uh, just the general kind of stuff like that and it, uh, as I was testing I noticed it had quite an impact on uh, the frames per second which uh, wouldn't normally be so much of a problem because I'm intending to distribute this so I can get people to test it. I'm, I'm trying to qu keep quite vigilant on that. So what I've done is I've put in uh, like uh, visibility culling um, with like a cool distance volume and I've kept that fairly harsh so that basically when you spawn it isn't rendering everything at the same time. Um, all of the speed trees have got set up so uh, the vertex colours allow you to use the billboards. Uh, all of the trees have about uh, three or four LODs on them so that there's, there's only a certain amount at the same time and also with the visibility culling on that as well uh, they, they either won't render or they'll only render at the lowest kind of LOD on that. And just to show that as you can see as I pan forward you'll see the trees kind of popping up and normally it might be a problem like for a, a major game or something like that but the way I've set this level up as you come to kind of the end of this kind of um, corridor forest section when you come out everything that you're going to want to see is already there so you don't really notice the popping as it happens um, so that's some of the things I've been focusing on in the actual kind of environment itself. Uh, what I've also done is I've had a look at Kismet 
add on a few more things in Kismet. Uh, I've just tweaked around what I already had just to make it a bit more efficient and just to make sure it works, doesn't crash. Uh, I've looked at a health regen system which I'm, I'm thinking of using for one of my timing elements. Uh, so basically, um, for example in Call of Duty and that, when you, when you take damage, obviously you heal back up after a certain amount of time. And I've currently got it set for around 5 seconds just for testing, just to kind of show the effect that that, that has on the player. But um, that's like a working system, so after 5 seconds you regain your health, and that's another timing element there. Also, just for kind of to affect the mood and the overall effect, I've added a flashlight, which I'll show you when the game's actually working. But there's a flashlight attached to the player. Um, a lot of people might say, you know, the health regen system, you can do it in the code. Yeah, you can do it in the code, but I've put it in Kismet just to one, kind of show that it can be done. And and two, you know, I've, I've only made one level, so it's kind of, it is level specific, really. Uh, so we've got that as well. And, and in general, there's been, like, visual tweaks over everything. For example, like I said, the optimization, I've remade all of the materials that are all a lot more efficient overall uh, all of the meshes have lots on them um, so that's basically what I've been focusing on and, and in my second part of the video I'll, I'll show you me actually playing the game and, and just showing you some of the techniques I've just already implemented actually working okay so this is the second part of the video and as you can see this is kind of what the game will look like uh, there's a torch attached to the weapon, uh, so as you can see, I'm just going to shine it on the trees, just so that it actually works like a torch would, it lights the tree up and everything reacts. Um, the enemies are still as, as they were before, but now when you get damaged, uh, the health regen in the bottom right corner, if you notice after 5 seconds it's going to go back up. So that's one of the timing elements I'm on now. Obviously these are the trees, um, and as you can see it's a mixture of my own meshes as well as the speed tree. On the floor you can see uh, the custom foliage, uh, which all kind of blends in. And obviously everything is fading in and out with the optimization. As you can see it's not really too much of a problem, you don't notice so much of the popping. Oh, I've completely redone all of the, the materials, so you can see there's slight changes everywhere. Uh, it was mainly just to make them a little bit more efficient. So, as you can see, just coming up to the water section now. And the final material in the actual scene. Uh, and this is basically what the level looks like in its current state at the moment. 